In this video, let's talk about the effects of the earthquakes. So whenever we think about the effects of the earthquakes, we generally think earthquake means the loss of life or the loss of property. But do you know there is some positive effects of earthquakes are also there. So let's focus on the positive effects of earthquakes at the beginning. First is the emergence of the coastal plain. Because of the earthquakes, we can see the creation of different kinds of coastal plain. Gradually, those coastal plains become fertile with deposition and it can be even suitable for the cultivation. Next is the formation of bay inlet on gulfs. So, throughout the world, there are many bays, inlets and gulfs. Those are generally created by the earthquakes. And those gradually become very important for trading purpose, even for the fishing purpose. Now, here even we can see the presence of hot spring and geysers due to the earthquake. Now, whenever these conditions are favorable, then we can get the renewable energy resources from these geysers and the hot springs. There are some demerits also of the earthquakes. They cause injuries of life, damage property, and immense suffer of the human beings. So let's discuss those also. As I already said, due to the earthquake, there will be the loss of property, the loss of life, even the course of river can also change due to the earthquake. Here I want to give one example. You are familiar with Brahmaputra River. Now, Due to the massive earthquake in 1950, just after the independence, the Brahmaputra River has changed its course. As a result, it may cause floods, even it may affect the human suffering. Because whenever a river will change its path, obviously the cultivation pattern will also change. Next is the tsunamis. Due to the massive waves like tsunamis, obviously the coastal areas will be damaged and it will also affect the tourism. For an example, like in Andaman, due to the massive waves, the coastal plain, even the coral lives also damaged. And due to the earthquake, whenever the warm water will flow from the center, and mud fountains can be also released from the interior of the earth which will damage the whole system. Next is obviously a crack can be produced. So the best example is the San Andreas fault that I told in the earlier video also. So these all are the effects of earthquakes. Now due to the massive earthquakes sometimes landslides may happen. I can give you examples like in Uttarakhand, in Sikkim region, Darjeeling region, the massive landslides are generally happen due to the earthquakes. Next is, after the earthquakes, it may damage the electric power lines or the gas lines. So it may cause the fire. So there is a best example like in uh, San Francisco in the year 1960, many deaths are caused due to the earthquake fire. After that is also another factor that's the soil liquefaction. What happened here? Sometimes when water saturated granular materials such as sand and as a result temporarily it lose their strength and transform from solid to liquid state. This leads to the tilting or sinking of buildings, even the bridges into the liquefied deposits. This type of our examples also available in the West Bengal region, especially the northern part. So that's all about the effects of earthquakes. Hope you have understood this lesson. Let's meet with an another interesting lesson very soon. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and bye.